Hey guys, Junie here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2018 Asian pop playlist. So this is basically a video sharing my favourite Asian pop songs of April 2018 in a playlist um, type video for you guys to find out hopefully new songs that you haven't heard before and maybe some of your favourites that you have heard of. Um, first of all, I apologise for this kind of like golden hour lighting at the moment. The lighting situation isn't the best at the moment. It's the middle of winter for me and it like sunsets at like, what, 4pm? So that's quality. <coughs> but, um, so I'm using artificial lighting so it's probably why I look a bit more greasy and everything. Anyway, um, first of all, this month was a, such a good month for K-pop. So many good K-pop songs got released in this month and I've been loving it. Um, also, so many other good songs. So without further ado, let's get straight into the playlist. The first song on this list is Newton's latest song, Shimela, I think it's pronounced. This song is absolutely amazing. I really love K-pop. I think it's far, like very fastly becoming my favourite Asian pop genre, closely tied with J-pop, but like Q-pop has been so good lately. The song is not an exception, it's amazing. I really do love Newton, I've been meaning to get deeper into them as a group, but I haven't yet. So I've been listening to a lot of their stuff lately and I've been loving it so much. This song is amazing. Um, the lyrics are basically kind of like a love song, you know, a dude really liking this girl, and it's really good. And um, the dance is amazing as well. Um, I noticed Q-pop groups are amazing dancers, and this song dance is also really good plus the members are so cute um yes the next song on this list of course is pentagon's shine now i'm i quite a big fan of pentagon i do quite love them as a group but i love them more like i love them for their variety style rather than their music but this song is absolutely amazing i love it so much the dance is awesome i love how they use the hip cool dances that um uh and at the moment They've made a really cool choreography that's not too cheesy and the song is just fun, carefree and it's also following that musical theme of like this guy really liking skill but don't know how to like tell the girl, it's like really cute but I really think Pentagon pulled off amazing and the song is awesome. Next is Unified Bear in La Oxy, which is um, not the latest release, but um, a release that I've done a reaction to, so I shall link it up somewhere for you guys to watch. Um, this song is awesome. I'm a huge fan of Channel Unified, and I really love how well produced the music is. It uh, saves a lot of attention to detail into the music, and it really shows. The song was amazing. I think the song was the best out of the um, whole release. Because the music video itself was quite, I think that's an ad. I, some of you guys told me in my reaction comments that this that song was a teen ad for or something. But um, nonetheless, I thought it was an amazing song. And I couldn't actually tell the product placement, which is quite interesting because if you are a big fan of B-pop, you know that the music videos are quite obvious when they have product placement. So this was quite seamless to put in, which is really good thing five. And of course, the dance was amazing, seeing the music video was mainly focused on the dance. Next song on the list is J Soul's Friday. Um, this song is awesome. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I recently found out about this artist, Taiwanese artist J Soul. I'm probably pronouncing his name song, I apologise. But it's, um, I've really been loving his music lately, and especially this song. It's kind of different from what he normally does. It's more of a fun, carefree kind of song, which I also think is an ad, but I'm not 100% sure. But nonetheless, it's an amazing song, and I've been listening to it a lot. Next song, of course, is Cutton's latest release, Ask Yourself. Oh my gosh, um, this song, where do I start? It's amazing. Um, of course, this is a big moment for many fans of Cartoon and Johnny's as a whole because Cartoon have come back with an amazing song and they are stronger than ever. It's just amazing. I love this release so much and um, just everything about it is amazing. Honestly, I have nothing to say that's bad about it. It just blew me away. The whole release just blew me away. The next song on this list is of course my babies, my children, Vix Scientist. Um, where do I start? This release is absolutely amazing. Um, if you didn't know, Vix are probably one of my favourite K-pop groups, and I've been a huge fan of them. And honestly, anything they released, anything they touch, is amazing. It's gold. This release is awesome. Um, of course, the King of Concepts come back with this amazing concept, 
Um, most people call her scientists, but she's seen scientists. Scientists. Oh, I'm bad at English. Um, but no other groups can pull this off as well as Vix pulled it off, and they pulled it off amazingly. The song is really good. The dance, of course, is amazing because Vix are very strong dancers, especially in. I love the part where he goes like, dun, dun, I don't know. You know that. You, you know what part I'm talking about. It's just amazing. His power. It's just like, yes, yes. And of course my baby Tae Goon, he looks beautiful with his blonde hair, he looks gorgeous. I'm seeing all these like girls like saying like, oh Tae Goon's making me so of lanes, I'm like, girl, stay in your lane. I've been a fan of him for ages and he is physically my child, don't question it, he just is and I love him so much. Next up is actually a type pop song, it's Chai Leader's Pretty Boy. Um, I did not know what to expect when I first went into this song and I am so impressed by it. The song is actually fully in English and it is amazing. It reminds me of like a weird hybrid of like Melanie Martinez, no, Melanie Martinez and Halsey, but like not so controversial and like actually good. Um, I love this song so much. It's very indie, kind of like pop indie in a way. It's like not 100% pop, but like not indie, but just amazing. It's overall very chill, and the music video, the whole aesthetic of the music video is amazing and just breathtaking. Next up is the latest song by Eric. Featuring Mr. Stero, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but you'll see it up here. Um, this song is amazing. Um, if you didn't know, Eric was a past member of the boy group Monster S2319, but he has left to pursue a uh, solo career. And I've I was honestly been loving all his solo songs. All the songs he's been releasing lately have been blowing up and are absolutely amazing. This song is more of a ballad style song. It's more of like a kind of like. His voice is very haunting and deep, and I think he has an amazing vocal, like a vocal ability. So I've been really loving his more ballady songs, and this included is just really amazing. Next song is a Taiwanese pop song called Under Love by a group that I cannot pronounce. Um, this song is so fun. Um, like I mentioned in my previous playlist video, Taiwanese pop songs that we have been so amazing. I've been really loving just the whole genre and all the songs that have been released lately. This one's just so fun and playful, and I've been listening to it a lot. The music video itself also is very fun and playful. I like, um, incorporate like um, technology into it quite a lot, like the emojis and like the front and cameras. I think it's really amazing. It's just so cute and playful. Next up is Winners Every Day. Like I said, this was an amazing month for K-pop and Winner. This song is really awesome. The song has more hip-hop vibes and um, has really, really taken the direction from their like older music. So now I've been really loving how they've adapted to the recent changes in the music style and popular music, especially in K-pop. I really think they suit this kind of hip-hop R&B grungy kind of style a lot more. I really love it. It's such a catchy song. The dance is amazing. The voice looks beautiful. Beautiful. and overall it's just an amazing release. Next up is Mesa Moa's Flower Wind. Of course I had to include Mesa Moa. I love him so much. This song is a really good release by them, well in my opinion at least. I really love this song. The concept they're going for is kind of like a grooms, groomsman kind of like, um, kind of concept. Um, the song is amazing. The whole video is like really like awesome. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I think it's kind of like a wedding kind of theme. But I just really love it, and oh my god, the members look amazing, especially my baby Shiro Fuku, he looks so cute. I love the song so much, and it's just a really cute, happy, playful song. Next up is a first for me in any of my playlist videos that I've been doing. It's actually a pop song from Nepal. Now, I have like listened to a few Nepali pop songs before, but this is the first one that I have actually really loved. And like, I, at first I didn't even know it was from Nepal. I thought it was just like an Asian pop song. So I was really surprised when I heard the song and I was like, wait, really? Is it from Nepal? This song is just amazing. It's really good. It's, um, kind of got hip hop, it's hip hoppy, poppy, it's a really good mixture of both and it's just a really good and chill song to listen to and I've been listening to it a lot. Next up is the latest release by Z Tao, Bigger. Finally, more music from Tao, I've been feeling like I've been waiting for ages for new songs by him, but this song is awesome. The song is a really nice, poppy, kind of got, it's got like tropical house vibes in it, it's just a really amazing song. And the music video starts off really cute, but it gets really tense by the end of it. I was kind of like a roller coaster while watching it. But overall, I thought it was a real good release. And of course, how amazing. I uh, finally released me on new music. I've been waiting for like some quality jams from him for a while now. But um, yeah, so it's just a really good overall release. Next up is 09 Pom. Now, first of all, I was really surprised by this group. I wasn't expecting such a good, like, amazing music video. 
this song is very hip hop orientated, very R&B, grungy, kind of like hip hop -y feels, but I love it so much. Um, I was really surprised about how good the fashion in this video was. I was really loving it. The dude even wore like that big fur jacket I think G Dragon wore on one of his music videos. I was thoroughly surprised. It looked amazing as well. And the dance was awesome. And just the music video in a whole was really well produced for this group. And I know this group has released quite a few songs lately and I've been loving them honestly. I think I might be becoming quite a big fan. But this song is just awesome and I love it so much. Next up is EXO, CBX's Blooming Day. Of course I had to include this in here. Are you kidding me? This is such an amazing song. Okay, first of all, the song it's very poppy, it's very lighthearted, just amazing. It's such a good, feel good song. I love it so much. The music video is beautiful, the boys are beautiful, except like, why are type of idols having so like, much mullets lately? Mullets? I'm just trying to bring back the mullet, it's not working, yet. it's just making me question the hairstylist, but you do you guys, you do what you want to, you somehow still pull it off, which is quite impressive to be honest. But, oh my gosh, this song is amazing. Of course, they have questionable English lyrics in there, but oh my god, that one that one line, Bakyun's one line, wait, wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Yes, just yes, just from that one line alone, I knew I'd love the song. It is amazing. And can I take that like one line on loop? Because I will seriously listen to like a 10 hour loop of this, just that one line. It's just amazing. Next up is an Indo pop song called Love Again by the artist Afghan. I'm pronouncing his name wrong. I'm very sorry about that. But oh my gosh, this song is amazing. It kind of reminds me of like really old school R&B pop. It's kind of like that really slow like, you know, clicking body roll kind of music. I love it so much. It gives me all those retro vibes but also being like really chill at the same time. I just love it so much and it's just an amazing song. Next up is an Malaysian pop song which I cannot pronounce at all so I'm not going to attempt it at all so it's going to be up here for you guys to read. But oh my gosh, where do I start? This song is so good. First of all, I don't know who this dude is but he is so cute and he is so talented. Like his dancing skills are amazing, his vocal skills are amazing. He can even rap a little bit. It's just amazing. I was blown away. This song is so good. Um, I've been listening to it a lot lately because it reminds me quite a lot of what the Western pop has been, Western pop industry has been releasing lately, and it's just such a good song. And like, please, if you guys know any information on this dude, please put it down in the comments because I really want to find out more about him. He even kind of reminds me of like a Malaysian day park, but like, I don't know, it's just so good. Next up is also a V-pop song which I cannot pronounce, so I'm very sorry about that. But the song is so good. It's just a really chill, kind of easygoing song. You know, I've just been listening to it a lot. It's just very, just, it's just awesome. You can listen to it whenever, like whatever mood you're in, whenever you feel. Just listen to it. It's just awesome. Guys, check it out. Next up is a Filipino pop song called Misfits by the artist Kiana. I think I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I'm sorry. But this song is amazing. This woman's vocals are so smooth and just awesome. She has a really good vocals for kind of like poppy R&B, which is what the song is like, kind of like, which I think really fits really well. And overall, it's just an awesome song, awesome release, and beautiful music video as well. Just awesome, the whole thing awesome. Next up is a Thai pop song by the toys called Sleep Now. I think I've mentioned them a few times before, the toys, but they are all really awesome Thai duo that released amazing songs. The song is so good, it's really chill kind of poppy R&B. I feel like a lot of these type of songs that I'm releasing lately that I've been enjoying at least are kind of like pop but like not pop. They've got like a more of a R&B slow down pop kind of vibe which I have been really enjoying. I think it's called chill pop because it's been quite popular lately but the song is just awesome and I've been loving it a lot. Anyway that's my Asian pop for April 2018 playlist. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for the recommendations you leave in my comments. You guys make this list possible because um, you recommend so many good songs to me which I really appreciate. So please do leave your favourites down in the comments. I'll give those songs a listen. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!